Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is going to be for my playlist uh, Forensic Science and Genetics. I already gave you a lot of um, different information and theory on this topic and from this video on I'm going to show you how to solve simple problems. So here's a problem, identify the flanking sequences and the number of repeat units GAAT in the following STR known as TPOX on the human chromosome number 2. And uh, if you would take a look at this picture, you would see uh, markers uh, and you also would see that some chromosome doesn't have markers, some has one marker and some has two markers. And the marker of our interest or locus uh, is um, located on the chromosome number 2. TP or X. So now let's return to our problem. So here is the sequence as you see and we know the core sequence which is G A A T and now we can find the sequence uh, how many times this uh, tetranucleotide repeat and Let's uh, start from here. So I think this is going to be the first one. G A A T G A A T G A A T G A A T and G A A T. So it repeats one, two, three, four, five times. And we also have to find flanking regions. So all the rest would be flanking regions. So we can say that uh, if uh, here we have 5 prime end, here we would have 3 prime end. And of course, uh, as you see, this is single stranded DNA, but uh, we use double stranded DNA, but uh, for our um, purpose here we're just uh, using for simplification only one single strand so uh, this uh, regions that we call flanking regions we use in order to make uh, primers it's not necessary that primers uh, would be the same length as a flanking region for example here can be one a sequence uh, for uh, uh, or uh, attachment site for um, primer and here can be another one and of course if we would uh, design primers uh, new sequence always grows uh, from 5 prime end to 3 prime end so our primer would be for example here G G, C, A, and C. So this is going to be 5 prime end of the primer and 3 prime end of the primer and new strand of the DNA would grow in this direction. And in order for uh, PCR to work we need a second sequence and actually because we are going to have here 3 prime end uh, the sequence of the uh, second primer would be uh, the same as we have here. So 5 from end and sequence would be C, C, A, C, A. So now you know uh, how uh, we find a number of repeats. Now you know about flanking regions and now you know that not the whole flanking region would be used uh, in order for primer to attach and we need two primers as you see in order for uh, to multiply this sequence using PCR method and uh, now uh, basically sequence would be as follows so the first one would be C, C, 
So C C A C A C A G G T A A and this is going to be five prime and and three prime and here. And the second flanking sequence is going to be G C C T A A G uh, T G C C and also three prime and here and five prime and here. So this is two of flanking sequences. Uh, part B number of repeat units and number of repeat units would be one, two, three, four, and five. So we put five here and write out the STR shown above using genetic uh, shorthand. So our core sequence is G A A T and number of repeats 5. So we put 5 here. So as you see, this is shorthand um, how to write uh, this sequence. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.